Hi, my name is Sergi Bones, and in this video, I'll be showing you how I mixed the vocals of a track by an artist called Angel SBL. Um, she's an upcoming artist from Uganda, Africa, and you know she has a new project which is a mixture of Afrobeat and dancehall and R and B. So it's a combination of you know different genres. Um, have a listen to the track and i will take you through how i mixed her vocals and got them sounding the way they are sounding now okay the singer on the track is called angel sbl and i hope you like it check out the video hi and welcome to Street 24 my name is Sergi bonds and today i'll be showing you how i mixed the vocals for um a new song that i produced uh, the song's called only for you and it's sung by um, an artist called Angel SBL. Um, so I'll just walk you through. Um, I'll, I'll just play you a little bit of the song so you can get a gist of um, what the song sounds like. And then I will take you through what I did with regarding to the mixing and all of that. All right. So let's start here. <laughs> I clean my diary for the weekend. I got a little sexy dress song. I've got to look the best for you, boo. Don't drop the moon or somebody. I've got the best for you. Gonna dance for you. I, I don't mind it. I, I, turn me on to you. I'll do whatever to please you. Give me your love. Okay, so on this lead vocal here, um, as you can tell, it sounds a bit dirty on its own, and I did that on purpose. Um, so first plug in here is the isotope Nectar 2, and um, I used a preset here called Female Vintage. You see here it says overdriven tone with a short reverb perfect for female retro sound so i wanted to give her vocals a retro feel a retro kind of sound you know like you know i don't know if you you know any kind of old school artists uh, but if you hear the greatest old school artists like you know they have a certain tonality to their to their vocals that is a bit rare to find these days uh, so i wanted to fake it <laughs> through mixing how i faked it was uh, i used this eq here as you can see this eq curve here um there's a raise here you see this a vintage bell at 399 hertz um i i raised it by 5.9 db okay um so that's kind of the range where you know th the core of your you know f especially for female vocals that's where the call um it, the, the, that's where the call frequencies are um so yeah i raised that a little bit and um, there is a dip here at six which is a vintage bell at seven thousand 
994 hertz um, there's a dip um, of minus 1.2 and then there's basically high pass at 91 hertz and that's really about it you know um, so that was the first thing I did um, I used the gate here to kind of like uh, squeeze out um, most of the breathing you know like the the breaths that are taken when you're recording vocals um, I used the gate to try and reduce them at the same time I used it to reduce any floor noise or any noise that was in the room whilst recording so a gate is your best friend when mixing vocals because it helps to take out some of the sounds which are make your voice muddy and might ruin um, how your vocal will sound in the mix um, obviously you have to be careful with it because the higher you increase the gate um, you know the more it's going to chop out the actual vocal so it's a, it's a case of you listening to the vocal and playing with the gate you know taking it up and down until you get the perfect setting and you know this is what you need to move up and down the threshold right here you know just move it up and down until you get um, the fa the perfect setting for your vocal okay uh, and I use some pitch correction here um, as you see these are the settings you know 20 milliseconds here um, range very low and transpose zero that's it uh, and this is the root key for all of those nods, music nods. I know nothing about music, uh, <laughs> music, co music chords or music notes. All I do um, is just change these when I'm looking for when I'm looking for the right the the right note of a singer. I play around with these until I find what sounds perfect then I know that that's the key you know? otherwise I would have no idea what key the singer is in because I'm not a music theorist so I just play around with these and I just use my ear and whatever sounds perfect I know that that's that that's the right key that's the key that she's in he or she is in alright moving on we have a DSA here uh, DSA is always very good to reduce S's so yeah basically just DS a little bit on there and that's it for the first plugin. On the second plugin, um, we have Alloy, Alloy 2, also by Isotop. And on this one, all I did was add another DSR, as you can see right here. Um, and the reason for that, um, I don't know if you've watched my original video of mixing vocals, is I always use two DSRs to get two different frequencies um, so the second DSA will reduce siblings coming from you know a different frequency range of the vocal you know so if I if the first DSA was on 2000 frequency the second DSA will probably be like on 4000 you know and I will DS two different frequencies slightly so that you know I cut out any annoying unnecessary S sounds so the, the whole point of the DSR is to reduce the siblings which is the S sounds that you make when you're singing and uh, it helps makes the vocals less piercing and less hurtful to your ears okay so use two DSs the first DSR um, DS a, a frequency maybe 2000 and you play around with it make sure that you're not overdoing it and then use the second ds underneath that and the as a different frequency slightly you know so you kind of have a balanced uh, dsing setting um all right next up on this we have the greg wells um vocal vo uh, voice centric and this plugin is, is is a good plugin i like it you know i use it on all my vocals um what i did here is i uh, used the doubler you know at minus 16 just a little bit of reverb 
at minus 26.4 and this right here this is like a compressor so the higher you increase this the more it's going to compress the less you 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 take this down you know when you take this down it's going to compress less and that's just how it works all right moving up moving on sorry and lastly we have the poltec eq right so the poltec eq um adds that lush top end to the vocal it gives it that kind of final lush sound i always put this as the last as the last plugin on my vocals and you can use any poltec eq that you have there's so many different ranges out there so whatever you can get whichever poltec eq you can get your hands on just use that uh, as the last bit of your um of, of your vocal chain and it will work um as you can see here all i did was boost at 9.7 and that's it a boost of 9.7 and that was it i didn't do anything else you know and the frequency i boosted was here 12k hertz you know 12k hertz 9.7 that's it that's all i did okay um yeah and there that's that's about it for the lead vocal no sorry tell a lie that's not it um i have a side chain compression here going now i don't know if you watched my recent video of uh, side chain compression if you haven't watched it go back and watch it please um so what's happening here on the sense is i have a side chain compression going as you can see here i have delay compressor and i have a delay so that I, i'll explain that in a second so here on the delay channel as you can see we have the delay which is the waves edge delay okay and then underneath that we have this which is the cubase compressor so what the cubase compressor is doing is i have highlighted this sidechain activate sidechain compression the whole point of this sidechain compression is to reduce the delay when the singer is singing after the singer stops singing then the delay can come through you know so it's important for reducing muddiness in a mix so the delay and the vocals do not clash um so it gives a bit of space and room for instruments in the mix right so this play so you can see what the compressor is doing so do not act like you do not miss me you know that you'd be sad without me and it was never my intention i can't be doing without your reflection i can't i can't so you see that it keeps reducing i can't even tweet without your mention baby let's take you to a new dimension see that here keeps reducing the delay as the vocal is singing then whenever she stops singing it comes up slightly that means it's letting the delay through and then you can hear a little bit of a delay and when she starts singing it, it takes the delay down again and basically those are techniques that you can use to get a good clear sounding lead vocal you know if you haven't watched my sidechain compression um tutorial please watch it that's what i'm using here i'm using sidechain compression to basically reduce the amount of delay um on the vocal right and that's it for the lead vocal uh the backup vocals they're really easy i used the same formula i only twisted it a little bit um but on my backup vocals so let, let me play you a sample of these backups
Okay, so you had that, alright? Um, let's see what I did for this. So I have this Butch Vic vocals, alright? And I'm using a telephone effect here. See, telephone 2, which is a preset. I didn't do anything. Um, and that basically turns the vocal into like a telephone sound. And next up here, we have uh, this pitch correction um, to make sure that, you know, the backups are in tune. And lastly, we have this, which is, you know, guitar rig. <laughs> I know it's meant to be used on guitars, but I use it on vocals. It's all about being creative, you know, so whatever works for you, use that. There is no, there is nothing set in stone, okay? Just play around with different things, different effects, and you will get, <laughs> you will get a unique sound. Don't stick to what everyone is doing because then you will just sound like everyone. So I try to create an identity when I'm producing and when I'm mixing so that, you know, I can stand out from the crowd and that's what it's about. It's about standing out. It's about being unique. It's about being yourself and not trying to copy. It's always good to get ideas. Don't get me wrong. Get ideas from other people 100%. But then add your own touch to them, add your own thing to it and make, you know, make a unique sound. You know, that's what it's about, guys, it's about being creative. All right. So and that's about it, guys. You know, that's it. You know, if you want to listen to the full track, I uploaded it on my channel. You can listen to the track. It's called Only You uh, by Angel SBL. And, um, you know, let me know what you think. All right. So. It's Sergio Bond signing out. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace out.